then depression sets in. Anyway, healthy cocoa drink. It's a lovely rainy day here on the Thai farm where in between rain Lazada makes deliveries that's what they do they call and they say hey man just checking make sure you're home because as soon as it stops raining we're gonna drop some shit out I actually had other deliveries as well but within the last five minutes actually within probably three minutes of each other I had a truck delivery another truck delivery and more cycle delivery. <laughs> one for two for me, one for my wife, and one from the mail. It was uh, her sister sent something for the mother that we'll drop off because mom's house over here. But uh, one of the things I've. I'm gonna sit down here. Oh yeah! So I can unbox it. Uh, yeah. If you watched my, one of my previous videos, not the last one, maybe the one before that. You might know what this is. And I hope it is what I actually ordered and not some other wicked surprise. Yep, yep, looks like it. Boom, a set of switches for my truck. Because my, that one that says auto, that's the driver's side one. Hey, we're broken. We're stuck or worn out, actually. I think it's just worn out. The truck's 10 years old. You know, you know you're all open, 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 open. So, it's the one that gets most of the action. So, I thought what I'd do is replace it. And uh, I can replace this myself. You know, let me see. Yep, looks like the same one. I'm just gonna pop that thing off there. Plug this in. So it's very simple. And now it just has one plug on the back, and you just drop it right back in there. Isn't that crazy? But uh, I need. I didn't bring a tool. Where is a card or something? Yeah. So. I'm gonna use this, uh, this is actually my gas card from my, one of my stations. I'll just stick this in here somewhere. I don't know if I can do it with, uh, there you go. Huh. See that? It's that easy. I'll just take this off. Where's that at? There you go. And this one, how do I take this off? Oh, it's a screw. Eh, I'm gonna need a screwdriver. I'll be right back. Try to do this with that camera tucked in my arm, but eh, it didn't work that way. Bought it on Lazada, it was 527 baht for the whole assembly. I 
I had a couple little screwdrivers in my office, so I grabbed those. Instead of going all the way back to my tool shop and get the right one. Boom. Comes off. Other one goes on. Looks like it fits perfect. Screws will go back in place. If I had my switch repaired like at Izuzu, even if it was here in Thailand, Izuzu, you know, they're at, repaired at the dealership. Yeah, right. That would have been a no. Either way, it would have been a fortune. In America, what is that? Car auto repair at the dealership is some ungodly amount 70 bucks an hour probably or something like that plus a service charge a service blah 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 probably would have cost me like a hundred bucks hundred hundred and thirty dollars or something but here I buy it online for 527 and all you got to do is plug it in like this and snap it in like this and hopefully I don't really do my key now hopefully I don't embarrass myself right <laughs> on video and it doesn't work oh it doesn't work there's a pin missing Alright, well first let's test the other windows. Boom. Left rear. Oh, that's a lock on. Dude, it wasn't working. And I was like, oh my god. But then I looked over there and I saw that the window lock was depressed. So let's try it again. Oh my gosh. You know what? It even feels smoother. Yeah, buddy. My passenger. That's good to go. Now the true test. I'm just going to hit this auto right here. Huh? Huh? Ah, ha, 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 ha. And depression sets in. So if it's not that, shit, man, I mean, my, that, may, that means my other switch is perfectly fine. I thought for sure. It was the switch because when I looked at it and I took this apart, each button has its own little toggle, right? Slide thing back and forth. And all the other three kind of go click, 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 click. And that one that was auto was like, it was smooth. So I figured, oh, it's got, no, got a click or something. Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, did a little embarrassing. <laughs> so I don't know how to go about testing the could it be the plug pin shit birds oh at least I got a new switch but I'm gonna have to figure it out might be the window I mean maybe the you know might have to take the door panel off there's some more work I used to always work on my own cars, you know, no matter what it was, especially windows and stuff. I, I could deal with that. Mostly it was roll up windows though. <laughs> anyway, I did take delivery of some tin. 
That's right. We got some brown tin. For the sides of whatever I'm calling that, my A-frame project. However, I do see already, look at that, bamboo is already already over the top of this from the recent rains. Push the bamboo down again. I'm probably gonna have to cut all that big old stuff. You know, now that I cut all that before and pulled it all out, you know, I mentioned this stuff's all, you know, it's bind, it's bound together, right? It's all relying on each other as one big unit. You know, you rip out three or four pieces, everything else wants to breathe and move around, and you start hearing it going pop, 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 because it's it's moving around, and that's what's happening. It's obviously moving. Shit. Well, let me get up there. I'm gonna grab a piece of this, and I'm gonna take it up there to see how it lays, make sure it's the right height. I did buy the the one that meets them at the top so I can, you know, fold that down so there'll be no leaks. And uh, yeah, man, let's see what I can do. Let me get back at you. Water. One thing I noticed is that this wood very slippery when wet. Well, I gotta get this bamboo out of here. Great. Well, it looks like it's about the right length, right at the top where I want it. And I originally thought that I needed four pieces on each side, but the guy, when he was, when I, he's helped me order it, he goes, no, you need three. So it's two and a half meters this way but uh yeah we'll see it looks like yeah it looks like each piece is a, a meter or something yeah i'll have to check it out first thing you have to do though without slipping and breaking my neck is to remove some bamboo Gotta go get some tools, man. All right, we'll get back at you. Well, we'll put those three sheets up there. It's not exactly straight, which I guess I should have predicted that. But I also realize looks pretty good, all huh? Looks all right. Let's well, see if I get that in the shot. Uh, this is a slope, right? Pretty good slope, actually. But, I'm gonna have to put my scaffolding up on this side. Cause I definitely need to, you know, I need to put the, the screws in, right? I need to batten, what is that? Oh. <laughs> need to batten down that tin to the metal. And what I need to do, actually I need to Take my tin snips and cut the top corners on both sides so that the tin can go out over the last bar uh, because at, at the top where I have it crisscrossed 
it's blocking it and yeah this piece right here this piece is actually the piece that was all the way over on the other side blocking the middle so I gotta see where this piece is housed which is if we look at it it comes all the way through here and it is actually whoa it's this guy right here so i'm gonna try and cut that with my chainsaw maybe that's enough room behind there where it won't get pinched it'll spring up and i'll be able to pull it through there it doesn't look like it has any branches to stop it so next step chainsaw <laughs> let's get it done As predicted, yeah, it kabow all the way up there. And pull my shirt out, shoulder. What is that? Some kind of fungi growing on some wood. Burnt wood. Oh man. Well, let me put this camera over here, see if I can't pull this. Pull this beast out of here. Yeah, I'm done. But I know my wife about here any minute. Cut that up. Don't leave that there. So I'm gonna have to cut this up. You should be able to tackle that. Throw it over there somewhere. Burn it when it's wet or when it's dry. Although, whew, I don't think it's going to be dry anytime soon. It is a rainy season. But I was able to effectively get it off of there. Whew, which is a good thing. What else do I need on the scaffolding? Damn, man. I don't know if I can do that scaffolding today. But I gotta, I'll put this tin up there. And I think I'm gonna use some, I'll just use some baling wire. Wrap it down and hold it down against the, you know, hold it in place a little bit so the wind, if it picks up, won't blow it all out of place or blow it away. I should put wood on top of it. Hmm. Hmm. Thinking. I got those two planks. I got a plank on this side, plank on that side, same on the other side. Thought maybe that would help for the tin. Yeah. 
It will. Maybe I can put that piece. I have two pieces. Maybe I'll put, I can put the two pieces on the bottom or whatever to kind of weight it down. Anyway, let me get to it. Wind picks up anymore. Up here it's higher down on the ground, it doesn't feel like any wind, but you know, up here it catches and I can't help but feel holding a big piece of tin like this is like holding a sail. Whew. Yeah. I definitely have to cut the top. Actually, if I can snug fit the top, that'll prevent the top edges from catching the wind. Maybe it'd be easier to you know, to wire down the top piece. Although I should be measuring it. Well, got it up there, cut that top piece, I laid it on the, these are my computer glasses by the way, I should have took those off, probably going to mess those up now, I need new glasses, anyway, put that top piece on there, it's not, you know, it's all not fitted right, because I got to bolt it all down and everything, in hindsight, I probably should have made those two walls all bolted together, and then, and just hoik the wall up over the side, you know, like with a pulley or something. Put the two walls in place. Because it's gonna be quite the task to secure that tin in place. I don't have anywhere in there. Could secure from the under, underneath, but I don't think that's gonna work. But uh, anyway, yeah, I'll figure it out. Where there's a will, there's a way. If I have to, I'll build, I'll build scaffolding all the way up, and then a bridge across, and down, something like that. What I want, what I want to do is, I want to throw my drone up, take a look at it, and see what it looks like. Yeah, let's take a look.
That was pretty cool, huh? Yeah. See it over there. I was gonna, you know, I was gonna get the color of this top of this uh, garden here. I was gonna do the green thing or the turquoise. And I thought, nah, let's leave it brown. Those turquoise and greens, they also fade. The brown fades too, but at least it'll fade brown. Yeah. And the water on the pond, check it out, man. Boom, that water is perfect. That's the level I like it. Plenty for the fish over there in the nets. Definitely plenty for the fish here. That's still chuck full and carrying out in here. Water's coming in, but we do have a, a overflow. Normally it's from the pond into the rice. But during this time when you're doing the rice, it can go this way and we don't want it to go this way because this water after it's saturated and then it's treated, you know, with a weed killer, this and that, the water's not good. It'll, it'll not be good for the fish. I kill them, but uh, yeah, man. And these are snails. I could harvest all those and put them in a controlled environment so that I could harvest all the snails. I can eat those too. Can sell them sell them they don't sell for much but people like them it's one of those things where if you have a lot of them on your property people come over you know for a visit and this and that you give them a bag of snails <laughs> they're all Woo one thing i noticed though with the water if y'all remember i built that little platform right there for my pump to sit on while i drain the pond or come water here i could fill the pond whatever mostly it's for drain the pond but it's right at the water lying right there where I built those stairs so and we're, we're expected to have more rain for sure and uh, I don't mind I was sitting out here when it was, it was oh man it thundered so hard today crack a lacking man oh look how blue, green that blue actually that water I don't know if you can see that but I just walked up on there and I swear that looks like some kind of blue pond looks like it might be healthy it might be reflecting all the it might be reflecting the trees or whatever i can see the reflection anyway but yeah man getting some clarity in there i like it it'd be cool this pond was usually not the clear one mostly because all the fish are probably run around but that'd be cool maybe the water's improved One of the other things I did, my wife took delivery on that little pump I told you. She bought this little pump. And it's actually pretty good. It's, you know, you can see that, man. You got, it'll trawl up 35 meters. That, that's a pretty good pull, right? 28.50 on the RPM, 35 liters a minute. Continuous duty. So I, I just sampled it up. I screwed that in, did like this, sealed it up, make sure there weren't no air. This is all pulled apart right now. And put a, a valve on the bottom. I did that last night. We got it yesterday late and my wife was anxious to see if it actually worked so she could, you know, review it or put, you know, or refund it. But it worked out pretty good. And then this morning I went out to the city to the one pump resource place. And um, I got a couple of parts for the old pump. If y'all remember the old pump, anyway, I took it apart and I fixed it, and then I did the same thing. I just rigged up a couple of poles, a couple of pipes, transferred it to the well, so I could suck out of the well and see if it worked. And it's working. So we ordered a, a, um, you know, a, a battery for the solar, you know, a gel battery for the solar panel, and uh, we're gonna see if I can't hook up this pump or the other pump to the solar for this pond so you can have full aeration major aeration for the pond uh 
with those, you know, with the solar. They're like aerating during the day. And then uh, at night, I'll just have it hooked up to, uh, well, these lights are already solar anyway, but I'll probably put some more solar in here. These lights are not solar, the tree lights aren't. And the ones up there and that one out there, that's not. So I can take, that's all on one line though. So I can basically take in and just tap into it and get it back there. The solar panel is up on top of this roof. So I'll tie it all in, maybe you can get some more lights, depends on. I got a 450 watt panel, one 450 watt panel. So that should uh, give me uh, enough juice to run that pump. Hopefully, maybe the smaller one. And uh, yeah, my earlier problem I had with the lights staying on and I thought I fixed it and it stayed on again last night. So I swapped out the timer for the timer underneath here, put it out there. So tonight I'll check, see if, if it doesn't turn on over here, then I know for sure it's a timer issue. If it don't turn on, or not, turn on over there, it's wiring or the plug or the breaker box or something. Maybe it's a crappy breaker. I don't know. But I know I do. I did order just ordered today two new um, two new timers. So just in case it is the timer, ordered a couple new timers and a uh, bunch of other stuff. Be getting Lazada probably every day for the next month. <sighs> I gotta put my boots on for all that because it's all wet. And hey, for those of you who like uh, cocoa, cocoa pa, 24% European dark chocolate cocoa powder. It's actually a, um, you know, no sweetness, no no cream or dairy, maltodextrin, coloring or preservative. It's a instant cocoa powder beverage with citrus bioflavonoid. Anyway, healthy cocoa drink. You get that for mom. It helps with her diabetes and other ailments. I haven't tried it, but I bet you it's pretty good. You can probably make a oh uh, smoothie, chocolate smoothie, or bake it in a cake. Well, it's got citrus, so yeah, or maybe just on ice. Yeah, <laughs> well, the breeze is picking up. And normally, like when it when it's gonna rain, you know, like when it does rain, good. It it wind heavy wind is precedes the rain, so that'll be a test for my little tin job over there. I hope it don't. You know what, I think I need to go put that wood up there on the bottom parts. And uh, I did wire it up, crisscross over that top piece. I crisscross lassoed it at an angle across all the tin and then went back underneath. And so it's tied, there is, there is some there, but I do remember some gale force winds out here. So on my, I might be better served to go ahead and put that before I wind up having to pick it up all over the property. As it was, I didn't video, but so the top piece, right? So after I cut it, I, you know, I can't get on top. I have to like one hand it and kind of stretch. And I kind of, kind of have, it's folded. So you kind of have to like pinch it over the top. Yeah, well, it, it went over and then too far pulled itself over slid down fell off onto the ground damn it picked it up it did it again damn it it did it again the third time i'm like you so then i um i, I squished it more more into a frame and then uh that seemed to work so anyway i'm gonna go put that wood up there and uh hey man Hope you like my little tin job over there. Yeah, yeah. And I'll have to uh, get to work and looking as to why maybe my, oh, oh that's a bird, bird bang. Uh, why my freaking 
auto button doesn't work on the D-Max. I'll probably just look that up. D-Max auto button doesn't work. All right, man. Well, hey, thanks for watching. Keep watching. And I'll get back at you with more, yeah, projects here on the Bonhoeff.